Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this presentation we will study about CAPEX and OPEX in desalination and its financial analysis, cost-benefit analysis, comparison of OPEX and CAPEX in SWRO plant, factors that can affect the OPEX and CAPEX costs of SWRO desalination plants. CAPEX and OPEX in desalination, OPEX and CAPEX in SWRO, seawater reverse osmosis, plant. Seawater desalination has become an increasingly popular method of providing fresh water in arid regions where traditional sources are scarce. However, the construction and operation of an SWRO plant involves significant costs, which can be categorized into two major types, OPEX and CAPEX. CAPEX and OPEX in desalination, OPEX and CAPEX are important for effective management of a SWRO plant, and a proper balance between the two is essential for optimal operations and financial performance. CAPEX and OPEX in desalination, CAPEX, capital expenditure, refers to the costs associated with the purchase and installation of the equipment, infrastructure, and other capital assets required for the construction of the plant. These costs are typically incurred up front and can represent a significant financial investment. OPEX, or Operational Expenditure, refers to the expenses incurred in the day-to-day -day operation maintenance of the plant. These costs are essential for keeping the plant running and producing fresh water. CAPEX refers to the one-time expenses incurred in the purchase and installation of equipment and infrastructure required for the construction of the plant. These costs are generally associated with the plant's initial construction and commissioning. Examples of CAPEX in SWRO plant include pumps, membranes, tanks, and piping, as well as the cost of constructing the plant itself. CAPEX costs are typically incurred up front and can represent a significant investment for the plant owner or Operator OPEX refers to the ongoing expenses incurred in the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance of a plant or facility. These costs are essential for keeping the plant running and maintaining its operations. Examples of OPX in SWRO plant include labor, chemicals, energy, and consumables like filters and membranes. OPEX costs are typically recurring expenses that must be paid regularly and are considered as the operating costs of the plant. OPEX costs can vary depending on factors such as the size of the plant, the quality of the source water, and the level of automation and monitoring. CAPEX in desalination, equipment costs, the purchase of SWRO plant equipment is a significant component of CAPEX. Examples of equipment costs include the purchase of high-pressure pumps, energy recovery devices, membranes, and other equipment necessary for the SWRO plant's treatment process. Installation costs, the installation of SWRO plant equipment and infrastructure is another significant component of CAPEX. 
Examples of installation costs include the cost of site preparation, civil works, piping and conduit installation, and the installation of electrical and control systems. Infrastructure costs The construction of SWRO plant infrastructure is also a component of CAPEX. Examples of infrastructure costs include the construction of a desalination plant building, site security and fencing, and the installation of water and power supply lines. Engineering and design costs. The cost of engineering and design is a component of CAPEX. This includes the development of plant layouts and equipment specifications, detailed engineering drawings, and construction plans. OPEX and desalination, maintenance costs, regular maintenance of SWRO plant equipment and infrastructure is critical to ensuring the plant's smooth operation and optimal performance. Examples of maintenance costs include the replacement of worn or damaged equipment components, regular inspections, and cleaning of membranes and filters, and the replacement of worn or damaged piping or valves. Labor costs, skilled operators, and maintenance personnel are required to operate and maintain an SWRO plant. Examples of labor costs include wages and salaries for plant operators, technicians, and maintenance staff, as well as training and development programs to ensure personnel remain up to date with the latest SWRO plant technologies and processes. Chemical costs Chemicals are used in SWRO plants to prevent scaling and fouling of membranes and to maintain optimal water quality. Examples of chemical costs include the cost of anti-scalants, coagulants, disinfectants, and other chemicals used in the SWRO plant's treatment process. Energy costs SWRO plants require significant amounts of energy to operate pumps, compressors, and other equipment. Examples of energy costs include the cost of electricity, diesel, or other fuels used to power the SWRO plant's equipment and infrastructure. OPEX versus CAPEX in financial analysis Financial analysis of OPEX and CAPEX is crucial for ensuring that the SWRO plant is operating efficiently, cost-effectively, and in compliance with regulatory requirements. The specific details of financial analysis may vary depending on the SWRO plant and its operations. Net present value NPV, analysis. This analysis involves estimating the present value of all future cash flows that will be incurred as operational expenses. By comparing the present value of expenses to the present value of revenue generated by the plant, the net present value can be calculated, which can help determine the profitability of the plant. Cash flow analysis. This analysis involves tracking the inflow and outflow of cash over a specific period of time to determine the cash flow of the plant. By analyzing the cash flow, plant operators can identify areas where operational expenses can be reduced or revenue can be increased. OPEX. Cash flow analysis. 
This analysis involves tracking the inflow and outflow of cash over a specific period of time to determine the cash flow of the plant. By analyzing the cash flow, plant operators can identify areas where operational expenses can be reduced or revenue can be increased. Payback Period Analysis this analysis involves estimating the length of time it will take for the expected returns from a particular capital expenditure to cover the cost of the investment. By comparing the payback period to the expected lifespan of the equipment or infrastructure, plant operators can determine if the investment is worthwhile. Internal Rate of Return IRR, analysis. This analysis involves estimating the rate of return for a particular capital expenditure, taking into account the time value of money. By comparing the IRR to the cost of capital, plant operators can determine if the investment is worthwhile. Cost-benefit analysis, cost-benefit analysis, OPEX and CAPEX costs are essential components of a cost-benefit analysis in SWRO plants. A cost-benefit analysis helps determine the SWRO plant's overall profitability and the return on investment, ROI. By carefully analyzing the OPX and CAPEX costs, plant operators can determine the optimal balance between these costs to maximize profitability. Financial planning, OPEX and CAPEX costs are also essential for financial planning in SWRO plants. By carefully planning and managing OPX and CAPEX costs, plant operators can ensure that the plant is operating efficiently and cost-effectively. Financial planning also helps ensure that the plant has sufficient funds to cover ongoing maintenance, repairs, and future expansion. Equipment and Infrastructure the proper allocation of OPX and CAPEX costs is critical for ensuring that the SWRO plant's equipment and infrastructure remain in optimal condition. By allocating sufficient OPX funds for regular maintenance and repairs, plant operators can extend the lifespan of the plant's equipment and infrastructure reducing the need for costly replacements in the future. Regulatory compliance, proper allocation of OPX and CAPEX costs is also essential for ensuring regulatory compliance in SWRO plans. Compliance with regulations governing water quality and discharge, energy efficiency, and workplace safety requires ongoing investments in equipment, infrastructure, and personnel. Comparison of OPEX and CAPEX in SWRO plant, timing, OPEX and CAPEX costs occur at different times. OPEX costs are incurred during the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance of the RO plant, while CAPEX costs are incurred during the construction and installation of the RO plant, nature of costs, OPEX costs are typically recurring, whereas CAPEX costs are one-time expenses. OPEX costs are incurred regularly to ensure the RO plant's optimal performance and maintenance. While CAPEX costs are incurred to set up the plant initially, impact on financial statements, OPEX costs impact the income statement of the RO plant, 
whereas CAPEX costs impact the balance sheet. OPEX costs are deducted from revenues in the year they are incurred, while CAPEX costs are capitalized and depreciated over time. Management, OPEX and CAPEX costs are managed differently. OPEX costs are typically managed by the RO plant operator and maintenance personnel, while CAPEX costs are managed by the project management team responsible for the construction and installation of the RO plant. Relationship There is a direct relationship between OPEX and CAPEX costs in RO plants. The quality of the equipment and infrastructure installed during the CAPEX phase directly impacts the ongoing OPEX costs required to maintain and operate the RO plant. Therefore, careful planning and management of CAPEX costs can help minimize OPEX costs over the RO plant's lifetime. CAPEX costs are the upfront costs associated with building and installing a SWRO desalination plant. These costs include the cost of equipment, engineering, construction, permitting, and site preparation. OPEX costs are the ongoing costs associated with operating and maintaining a SWRO desalination plant. These costs include the cost of electricity, chemicals, labor, maintenance, and repairs. Factors that can affect the OPEX and CAPEX costs of SWRO desalination plants, size and complexity of the plant. The size and complexity of a SWRO desalination plant will have a significant impact on its OPEX and CAPEX costs. Larger and more complex plants will typically have higher OPEX and CAPEX costs. Quality of the seawater the quality of the seawater that is used as the feedwater for an SWRO desalination plant can also affect its OPEX and CAPEX costs. Seawater that is high in suspended solids or other contaminants can require more extensive pretreatment, which can increase OPEX costs, energy costs, the energy costs in the region where an SWRO desalination plant is located can also affect its OPEX costs. SWRO desalination plants are energy intensive, and higher energy costs can lead to higher OPEX costs. Thank you for watching this video.